Well, good morning, good morning, good morning. Hey, this is the last day working on Chris and G's bus, completing the roof raise. So enjoy this video. What do you think about Chris's window? Oh, I think it looks great. I think he's gonna be very happy with that. Yes, G will love him for that, right? Yes, she will. <laughs> Okay, so what needs to be done on his, I think, are these two windows, which are like school bus windows. Uh -huh. And then the other three big windows. Yes. And right then he there. has to put some metal and fiberglass and stuff up here so he can drive. That's correct. And, and then that's, he's done for... He went and bought all the fiberglass, so he didn't get enough cutting wheels. Yeah. So you see I didn't get the corners cut out on these. Right. And also didn't get all of the uh, the sides cut out on this one because I just ran out of cutting, cutting wheels. wheels. Yep. But we're really close. You're close. And uh, I think. Two more hours. Yeah. Okay, so we've got the big windows in Chris's bus. We haven't put the two small windows in yet, but it's looking really good. And then on the other side, we also have. Uh, Two windows put in, and Chris is cleaning up the Sikaflex from the outside. How's it going, Chris? Going well. It's drying a little bit, but we're smoothing it out. It's kind of drying up on you already? Yeah, I think it was because it was in the sun. Yeah. And then we had to go and get different Ooh, yeah, screws. That, I don't think that's going to do it. Whoa. Yeah, that's it's drying. I'm um, surprised. Well, it, in that case, I would let it dry and then take a a razor, a razor blade, like a sheetrock knife. You just get a sheetrock knife uh -huh. and do it. And cut off all the excess, excess after it's dry. Because this yeah. is going to be such a mess to try to clean up. I wouldn't do that, Chris. Okay. Yeah, well, I'll, I'll go ahead and get the other side now because it's in direct sunlight. But what happened was the screws that connect the back frame to the window were the wrong size. So I had to run and get more screws. So we had to wait. Uh huh. Had to wait for a little bit. So, yeah. Probably better just to cut this off, but I am going to do the other side because it's in direct sunlight. Go, go jump on it. Yeah, because this right here, Ed, that's going to make too big a mess. Let's see how that tool works on this side. Oh, yeah. Nice corner on that. Okay, good. As Jim was saying, we're going to go through with uh, lacquer thinner and get any of the excess off of the... Uh, window here but my main concern is just get a good seal on here well we've got that because it has Sikaflex all under it some sticky stuff hello Chris are we getting close we're getting there it's a bad dash almost got this front piece on ready to go uh, just been in the metal over getting some scrap metal uh, then we're going to do the, the fiberglass, get that set up, then the wiring harness and some wiring. I think that's it. These, awesome. These side windows, just got to put them in. But I think that's just putting them in and throwing some uh, Sikaflex on it. Sounds good. Okay, we got this side buttoned down. Got fiberglass over most of the joints. And Chris is just about done we're going to get a piece put on that other side just like this one <laughs> 